this is gonna be one of my shorter tip Tuesdays because this is a really simple tip but I do find that when I watch people a lot of the times they miss this step when they're clarifying their natural hair and you must must do this in order to ensure that your hair is okay after you clarify so let me jump right in So if you like what you hear today, if you like what you see, make sure you subscribe before you go and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. So clarifying your natural hair is a wonderful thing. It's probably something you should do at least once a month, at least once a season. You need to clarify your scalp and your hair and get all the buildup off. I guarantee there's buildup no matter what product you use. There's some buildup. Even if you use shampoo regularly, you need to clarify occasionally. What do clarifiers do? They strip your hair of life. That's what they're supposed to do. That's what you want them to do. You want them to get rid of anything and everything on your hair. And the process of doing that, it does raise your cuticle. It does roughen up the cuticle and it does kind of mess with the pH balance in your hair that's how it gets rid of all the particles and if you live in a hard water place you want a chelating clarifying um, shampoo that's the best way to get rid of everything on your hair and your scalp you have to get rid of the things on your scalp to prevent scalp issues to prevent buildup to just prevent a lot of things so after you clarify if you skip straight to the deep conditioning step or to the conditioning step in general you haven't done it right your hair may still not come out moisturized after you apply your dish conditioner, after you apply your deep conditioner. You've skipped a step. I've seen it a lot of times. People say this deep conditioner normally works really well, but this time it didn't work for them and so they blame the clarifying shampoo. And that's not it. Clarifying shampoos are clarifying shampoos. In my opinion, it doesn't matter which one you use. Go get one for one dollar. Don't waste your money buying an expensive clarifying shampoo. Instead, follow your clarifying shampoo up with a moisturizing or hydrating shampoo. The more hydrating, the better. Why? Because these shampoos will smooth your cuticle back down, right? It has that necessary pH level. It has the necessary ingredients to work behind that shampoo to bring your hair right where it needs to be to accept conditioner, to accept a leave-in, to accept a styler. If you skip that step, if you skip the moisturizing shampoo, you have definitely screwed your hair. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. Your hair will not be the same. You need to have some kind of moisturizing or hydrating cleanser. It can be a co-wash as long as it has cleansers in it, right? It can't just be a regular conditioner. That's not going to work. The pH is not in the same range as shampoos, as cleansers. They have to be in a certain range in order to do what they do. So the best thing to follow a clarifying shampoo up with is a moisturizing shampoo. Then do what you do when you're washed it, whatever that is. But if you skip that moisturizing step, you've definitely clarified incorrectly. So in the comments box below, let me know your experience with this and definitely let me know your favorite cleansers. I always, always love to know. And until next time, check me out on Instagram and thanks for watching, guys. Bye. bonus clip here because this was short like I had one thing to say so today I'm wearing a lipstick by Kat Von D another one this one is part of the Studded Kiss lipstick collection and this one is called Home Girl another favorite of mine it's like a really really deep purple shade so good maybe like an eggplant so good I love the shade is it the best formula absolutely not it doesn't really smooth on as, as well as you know my Pat McGrath uh, lipsticks you have to layer quite a bit to get the color payoff um, in, in the parts of my lips that are pigmented already that's what I have to do so I usually wear a liner under the lipstick um, but the shade is just killer it's it's to die for and it feels good on the lips it doesn't feel really drying it's a lipstick you know um, but all in all I've had this lipstick for at least a couple years now and I love it absolutely adore it again it's from Kat Von D and it's part of the Study Kisses line and it's called homegirl Love the packaging as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little bonus and I hope you're having a great autumn. We are having perfect weather here in Florida right now. North and Central Florida. South Florida is still in hot weather hell. So until next time, thanks for watching guys.